G'day everyone, welcome to another video by myself, Andrew DFT. And yes, it is the video you've all been waiting for. I'd made a promise that when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I would indeed make the Fortnite minigun. Of course, the Fortnite minigun being the largest design or weapon in the game, it was definitely going to be a challenge, a very big step up from, of course, many of the props behind me. So to make it the big benchmark at 100k, I think was uh, acceptable and logical and well, I did it. So for all those who aren't familiar with Fortnite, this on screen is the minigun here. It is, of course, a big Gatling gun, as what most people would be familiar with calling it. And it was a very interesting design and one that is very good in the game. It's not so great at killing opponents, but for taking down one's structure, one's fort, it is fantastic. And well, it absolutely dominates. Now to actually show it to you, I'm going to need to go outside so I can actually get it all in screen. Trying to show you here would be redundant because literally, I mean, I can only just fit a scar and frame here. And this is not even half the size of the minigun. So let's jump outside and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it. This is the minigun in its full size. Now I did say that I wanted to make this as light as possible. Even now it's got quite a bit of weight to it. But luckily I made it out of styrofoam and of course cardboard for the barrels. If this was made out of wood or PVC pipe, this would weigh a ton. And well, it's just not practical to really hold. So this, in my opinion, is an exceptional cosplay prop. If you wanted to do a photo shoot, you can really get some nice cool angles. You can hold it, you can transport it. It is relatively fragile in the sense that these plates here will break off if they're knocked. I could have made them detachable, which is probably a good idea, but I decided not to as really the only showcasing of it is in this video here. So as long as I don't whack it against this um, wall, I think I should be fine. Now I've done my best to try and replicate this as best as possible from the game. Using reference photos prior to the actual release of the replay was necessary. Unfortunately, I did finish this build two days before the replay was announced to go live. So unfortunately, I don't have the exact spitting imagery and close-up detail that I would have liked during construction, but I did my best at the time to try and get that. For the most part, it is, I'd say, 90% the same. There are a few adjustments that I've made to make sure the structure was intact. For instance, these flaps, these side panels are actually connected to a point here. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that. It would just fall apart. So what I've done is I've done horizontal beams that come out of the main center of the gun to ensure that structural integrity, but it still looks just as fine. But for the most part, I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. It was very cheap to make. This whole build consumed maybe 50 to $60. About 20 or 30 of that is actually in the materials itself, and the rest is in the painting. Now, in terms of size, this is the second largest prop I've ever done. This sits second to the binary rifle, which sat at four meters. This sits roughly about 1.5 long, and I think it's the same length as a sniper, but due to the thickness and the scale of this thing, I'd rate this as being a bigger prop than any of the snipers I've produced from any of the games. Now one feature I would have loved to have added to this is to make the barrels actually rotate, to make it have that Gatling gun appearance. That would be so cool for a short film or a cosplay event, but primarily my main focus was of course to keep that weight down and implementing mechanics and trying to build those out of something a bit stronger would of course uh, take away from that. So in the end I sacrificed that to just make it look good and uh, I think it still looks the part minus the, the rotation which I do admit would be really cool. But yes, let's jump back into the room and I can talk a bit more about it. So of course for scale, you can see that this thing is absolutely huge comparison to a standard scar. There's no, there's no comparison at all really. This thing just dominates. I don't even know how to display it. I built it because of a promise. Now I have no idea what to do with it. It's just gonna lean up against one of my mannequins or something until I can, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Now, if for some reason you do want to attempt this yourself, I will, of course, help you out by dropping the uh, template that I personally use to construct this in the uh, description box below. Use it if you wish. Good luck if you do. But it was definitely a necessary addition to, of course, the weapons that I've produced here on this channel. You guys have received the content I've been producing for Fortnite extremely well, so hopefully you're very happy with my approach and how I went through the minigun. Despite it being a bit different from what the actual one is by like 10%, Hopefully you guys can forgive me for that, but for the most part, enjoy it. And of course, I did promise I'd be producing a tactical shotgun tutorial for EVA Foam, so that will be coming out shortly. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. There are a lot of cool content on the way, as well as if you are new here, go back and check out some of my other videos for all the guns behind me. You can get the templates for all of those in the associated videos, as well as some tutorials for some of the ones on the wall as well. 
But I will wrap it up there. Thank you so much for everyone who supported and of course getting me to that 100,000 benchmark to of course make this. And of course, if you ever wanna share any of your work, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Or if you don't wanna share it, you just wanna see some cool pictures of most of this work, you can follow me there, Andy underscore DFT. That's where I post a lot of my preview stuff, so it comes out there before it comes out in video. And well, of course, until the next content comes out, I will see you later.